Hello and welcome to Snow Lake. Today we see a couple of aircraft. Um, not much, not much going on today. It's quite a relaxed day. There's not an in-flight emergency, which you know is quite surprising for Snow Lake. Um, it's another peaceful, relaxing day here in Snow Lake. Couple of aircraft, one charter flight, and just the all-round kind of winter traffic as we're starting to hit uh, the first days of the winter schedule. Which interestingly does mean that a couple of seasonal flights are going to start coming into um, here in Snow Lake, including services from uh, Providence, Rhode Island, and San Diego, just to name a few. But on our all year round service, we have this Aer Lingus, oops, sorry, Aer Lingus UK Airbus A330. This aircraft is taxiing out for departure to Manchester. It is just lining up on the runway as we speak. And rolling down the runway at speed, we have an A Asian, sorry, Allegiant Airbus A319. That aircraft will shortly be departing for a flight out to St. Petersburg in Florida. Taxiing behind our Canyon Blue Southwest 737, we have this British Airways One World 777-200 shortly departing out for London Gatwick. And in the foreground, which I think is the, well, anyway, the Southwest Airlines flight, is a Boeing 737. That aircraft is shortly departing out for Chicago O'Hare. Waiting for pushback clearance, which is just waiting for that 777 to pass, we have this Alaskan Airlines E175. This aircraft will shortly be, shortly be departing out for Anchorage. And there is much excitement in the terminal today as the Snow Lake Bighorns are preparing for a next voyage. They are boarding this Alaskan Airlines aircraft here and will be departing out for Seattle Tacoma today, which will be the... Oh, we have a notification. Snow Lake Airport closed after United 737 loses control on taxiway. Oh. Oh. Okay, right. Um, anyways, I'll round up here before we move on to this United aircraft that is clearly spun out of control, which I can see on the airport cameras. But here we have this Laskan E-175. This aircraft will be departing out to, well, should be, departing out to Seattle, Tacoma, um, to play another sports match against the Seattle-based team. First off, though, I will just quickly mention this Frontier Airlines Airbus A320, A321, sorry, taxiing out, no, taxiing in, sorry, from a... City far, far away from Snow Lake, that city is going to be Los Angeles, so not too far in perspective. But due to the BA flight, which actually was delayed, they've had to do the multi-use plan where they put two aircraft on one gate, and that is happening here in Snow Lake with these two cargo aircraft. On the left we have our DHL-767, this aircraft is going out to Cincinnati. But next to it we have a US Air Force C-17 that has come from a... Let's say a place that is very well famous, but there's a lot of military activity that goes on there in the middle of a desert. And if you don't know what it is, it's Area 51, or also known as Groom Lake, or on, on my notes, I do have a lot of notes. It's also known as Groom Lake or Homey Airport. That's your fact of the day. Anyways, let's actually move on to the um, incident now. Over there we can see the United Airlines 737 that has spun out of control and has nearly come in, uh, nearly collided with the uh, fire station and is approximately two metres from the horizontal stable, uh, sorry, from the ailerons from hitting the um, fire station. Uh, CCTV camera has caught the incident and will be played on the news later tonight. It's reports we're getting. Um, there is some journalists who were in the airport who have kind of gotten the footage, I don't know. But um, there should be news on the 6 o'clock CNN news tonight, so we'll wait and see for that. Um, joy. Mm -hmm. 